Well, rodents have continued to remain an unwanted house guest at many homes throughout the valley, especially as we approach the holiday season. Ooh. Eric Valdez is an account manager and technician with Truly Nolan Pest Control. He is here to give us the lowdown on the critters and just in time for Thanksgiving. Welcome in. Hello. How are you guys doing? Good. So good. All right. So for some reason during the pandemic, we know that a lot of more people were at home and the trash was piled up and there was an increase in rodents around the valley. And it sounds like that's continued through 2022. It's true. The population just continues to grow. And as we came inside for COVID, the nature of rodents changed as well. They had to get more aggressive. They had to strive for food harder. So they would forage even more aggressively. Potentially oh. inside our homes. Yeah, okay. Ricky's having a hard time. Yeah, with this, I was gonna Eric. say. So gonna the big you. question is, how do we stop? Because like, I know for me, if I were to see a rodent, I would freak out. So how can we kind of avoid coming in contact with some of these rodents? Majority of the time, they don't want to see us, so they run from us. So you don't have to worry about them trying to attack you, <laughs> but you do have to worry about them trying to get in the house. If there's any damage around the exterior of the homes, they'll find a way in. Mm. Uh, let's talk about how we know that they're there. By the way, are, we're talking about mice and rats. What do you see mostly around the valley? We get both mice and rats, okay. but most commonly we're getting roof rats right now. Yes. Roof rats? Yes. Wow. Yes, they like to scurry. So one of the things you can do, I know, is to make sure that the trees uh, around your home are not touching your home because that's a nice little little bridge. True. Yeah, you always want to trim away from the property. Any foliage you have around the property is just going to attract them because they look at it and they see a nice area where they can hang out or climb up your walls. Yeah. Well, and thank goodness we have businesses like yours that we can call and can come help us with this. So what do you offer? What do you provide to kind of help us stay away from these rodents? So if for some reason someone's hearing something or smelling something, because the smell is kind of awful when you get a rat, mm -hmm. you can call us and we do free inspections and we'll tell you what the problem is. And it's hard for us to know what's actually going on until we assess the situation. Mm. Can I ask you, because I have uh, come face to face with plenty of rodents. I grew up on a farm and no matter how unafraid I am of them, I always scream and dance around like when I'm faced <laughs> with a rat. Does that still happen to you? It does happen to me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think it's human nature. Very human. Yeah, we're all yeah. wired like that. <laughs> it's not common to see those things. So when you do encounter them, everybody takes a step back. Oh, yeah. yes. Well, I think the biggest thing is people want to ignore it, right? They like, might smell it or they might think there's something and they just want to think to themselves, no, there's not an issue, it's fine. But that's the biggest problem that they could get themselves into is if they don't take action, right? That's very true. A lot of people are like embarrassed of the situation and they don't want to tell anyone or they don't want to ask their neighbors if it's an issue. But usually if one person has it, the whole neighborhood has it. It's not something that just only happens to one. It happens usually, but a lot of people just don't talk about it or they just don't think anything's up there. If they hear something, they assume it's a ghost, but it's usually a rat, you know? Oh, wow. What happens with the cold weather? Because I know in the last couple of weeks, I've seen an increase in spiders in my house. Um, and I think it has something to do with the temperature change, but does the temperature change affect rodents as well? Yeah, temperature change uh, with the monsoon weather and the rain, oh, yeah. it's just a perfect recipe for disaster. Wow, and can you tell us a little bit about tap insulation? That seems to be very popular right now. So tap insulation is different than batting insulation. Batting insulation, you roll in, but when you roll in, you kind of get gaps of air. When you do tap insulation, it flows all incorrectly so that it keeps you cooler in the summertime and it keeps you warmer in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. And we have a layer of pesticide in the tap insulation, mm -hmm. so it helps oh. protect you against unwanted pests as well. Mm. Interesting. I mean, aside from being annoying, and certainly if you if there's a smell, uh, I think everyone is, is concerned, but there's other health issues that go along with living in close proximity to rodents. So the rat itself usually isn't so much of a danger because they're not trying to come close to us, but the feces in the urine is a major issue because they feed on so much stuff. And then as that kind of oxidizes and we breathe it in, it does carry multiple different viruses. Are you okay? I'm queasy. I knew those, those <laughs> words were going like, to be that. hard for you to hear. Not that. I know. Okay, but what's great is so you offer the free inspections. So then let's say you do find something. What's the next step after that? What do you do to come and help the situation? We try to give different options to customers. Um, so we can exclude the property. That's most important because the rat itself, if it's outside, there's only so much you can do. But when it gets inside, it becomes very problematic. But we also offer devices on the outside for capturing them or for baiting them. But we have all kinds of different programs. But again, once we assess the properties, then we can kind of devise what's best for them. 
Awesome. Eric, great having you in, my friend. Thank you so much. I know you have a busy schedule. Thank, uh, thanks for stopping by. We're going to talk scorpions next time, okay? Scorpions next time. Oh, the worst. <laughs> All right, call Truly Nolan Pest Control of Las Vegas. They're located on Southeastern. Uh, but you know what? They go where the rodents go mm -hmm. on this time of year. That's right. So you can also check them out on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.